I'm Sue Quinn. I'm the author of The Last Geishas, which is a mystery thriller set in the world of Japanese hostess clubs. Let me tell you a little bit about The Last Geishas. Um, it's the story of an English girl called Steph who comes to Tokyo to work as a hostess. Um, when she arrives there, some of her old school friends who she's due to meet up with, um, one of them has disappeared and one of them, Julia, is acting very strangely. Um, that story is also interwoven with the story of a uh, Japanese mama-san who's worked her way up through the Japanese sex industry and has worked through all sorts of different parts of the Japanese sex industry, so soap plans, no panty cafes, uh, snack bars, all sorts of things like that. I decided to write about um, the Japanese sex industry because I worked in Tokyo as a hostess um, for about three years on and off. Um, a hostess is a bit like a modern day geisha, so it's a bit like a sort of rent a girlfriend for the evening but without the sex. So you basically spend time in bars drinking with businessmen and kind of making a party and having fun and seeing karaoke. Um, and I, whilst working in that job, I saw lots of different elements of sex for sale in Japan, like um, stripping and prostitution and that sort of thing, because hostessing is sort of on the fringes of, of the sex industry. Um, and um, there were just so many different interesting elements about sex in Japan, it's so different from here, um, that I thought it would make a great book. I spent several years working as a ghostwriter and a commercial copywriter um, and um, I was writing my own novel the whole time in the background and then I sent one of my ghostwritten books to my now agent um, at Shearland and they asked me if I had any of my own material, which I did, and I had the beginnings of Last Geishas, um, so um, I sent that into them and, and the, the rest is history. Um, I think anyone who's interested in Japan will enjoy the book. Um, it's a sort of rags to riches tale, sort of dark Cinderella story, so anyone who enjoys classic storytelling will, will probably enjoy it. And it's also a mystery thriller with a sort of detective element, so if you enjoy kind of twisting the tale and, and trying to find out who the, um, the sort of whodunit element, you'll probably enjoy it too.